Hello from Austin, Texas. It's Scott Norman with your last legislative session, Texas Builder Report. It's Thursday, May 23rd, 2019, and that means we have only four days left in the 86th Texas legislative session. And with over 8,000 bills and resolutions filed, our association was tracking over 1,500 of those, and we had quite an extensive uh, agenda of priority bills. I have some very good news to report today in the closing days of the session. Um, and I'll just start going through these. First, House Bill 852, our building permit fee bill that we were supporting by Representative Holland and Senator Fallon. That bill, I'm proud to report on Tuesday, was signed by the governor into law and is effective immediately. It provides that cities um, may not base building permit fees on the cost of the job, whether it be a remodel or a new construction. Um, it was somewhat of a restatement of existing law, but emphasizing that uh, those fees should be based on the cost to the local governments of performing the service and should not be used as a profit center. Um, so we're very excited about that. Another legislation, another bill that we've been very supportive of this session is House Bill 2439 uh, that is authored by Representative Phelan and a number of other uh, House members and was sponsored in the Senate by Senator Don Buckingham. 2439, I'm proud to report, uh, late Sunday evening was passed out of the Senate and later today, the House is expected to concur in some minor changes that were made in the Senate, and that bill will be headed to the governor's desk. That is the bill that would uh, prohibit cities from mandating or prohibiting certain types of products as long as those products are authorized in the uh, national building codes. Uh, it's a practice that some cities have been doing, unfortunately, around the state, and the legislature uh, has deemed it uh, should not be the case. So. Governor will be reviewing that, and hopefully it'll be signed into law as well soon. Another bill uh, that we were very, very supportive of and an issue we've worked on for a number of, number of years is House Bill 1743. That bill was authored by Tracy King and a number of other members of the Texas House and was sponsored in the Senate by Senator Brandon Creighton. Uh, this bill makes changes to uh, the Ag Rollback Exemption and the Ag Rollback Exemption taxes that are due uh, when the uh, the land use has changed from agriculture, timber, or other exempt uses into market value. As our members know, currently they are due taxes five years back and at 7% compounding interest. The legislation will now only require those taxes to be paid back for three years at 5% interest. A significant property tax savings to landowners all over the state, which will have positive effects on housing uh, for decades to come. So 1743, is headed to the governor's desk for his consideration and hopefully he will sign it into law. Uh, these and many more bills we are supporting um, are still moving through the process. We've had significant success in the area of workforce. Um, we were successfully advocated for additional $30 million to TSTC to fully refund their, their uh, funding to their, uh, their programs as well as get them some additional funding for dual credit programs. Um, it's our understanding that language is in the conference committee report on the state budget that the uh, legislature will hopefully adopt before signing die. Additionally, uh, we've had some success in development plan and plat reviews on um, flood infrastructure and mitigation funding. Um, legislation in HJR 4 uh, appropriates over $3 billion from the rainy day fund uh, for flood projects going forward in addition to some funding um, in response to Hurricane Harvey that is moving forward and a number of other bills that uh, we'll, we'll report more on after session. But uh, look for more information for us forthcoming in both future editions of this report as well as in Texas Builder magazines and on our website. And we look forward to visiting with all of you about all of this and much more at our meetings coming up at the Sunbelt Builder Show in August. Thank you very much and have a great summer.